a movable axe? Strike me down. I'm gonna, I got him. Oh, no. Hello and welcome to my channel, I Win to Lose Gaming. I was invited to participate in Galaxy Battles Genshin Impact. For this competition, 16 of us Genshin Impact content creators compete against each other as we play Genshin Impact on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Thank you Samsung Galaxy for sponsoring this video. We're divided into four teams of four, where we compete in two rounds. The first round is a creator vs creator clash, to earn a power up for the second round. In the second round is the grand finals on April 21st at 12pm pacific time, where the winner takes home $40,000 worth of prizes. In this creator vs creator clash, you'll see how it all came down to a literal tree stump. For my creator vs creator clash, it was me vs Anthony Chen, Doro44, and Jello Impact. The field is full of us Genshin Impact veterans, and each of us needs to complete various in-game challenges, some with a quantity restriction, where only a certain number of us can claim that reward, and each one of these challenges is worth a certain number of points. This contest was made possible thanks to the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, and its top of the line specs being able to run Genshin Impact smooth as silk. We're playing on this thing seamlessly at max graphics for this contest and it's not missing a beat. Also the camera on this thing is one of the best in the market thanks to its 10x optical zoom where you can literally see these individual blades of grass that I touched. And the note assist with Galaxy AI is a powerful time saver, able to instantly summarize your notes, reformat them, and even translate them all with the power of AI. Right off the bat, it was a rough start for yours truly. The first person to kill a world boss would get one point. And I, in my infinite wisdom, decided to switch teams for some reason. Get a world, world boss. boss. Alright, we got this. Done! Oh, oh my gosh. Dude. How? <laughs> By the time I'd finished switching teams, Antony had already defeated it. Then while I was still partying with the Regisfine, the next mission I decided to attempt was to farm 30,000 Mora. The ley line I chose was up a mountainous hill, and I decided to switch parties once again. This cost me the chance to complete this challenge as well, as it also only had a quantity of one. At this point, I'm finally noticing, okay, we have some serious quantity limits for these challenges. Anthony is at 4 points, Doro has 2 points, Jello Impact has 6 points, and I have 0 points. I had to commit to clearing one of these missions or else it was going to be a disaster. Fortunately, I saw one that had more than one quantity to complete, which is to climb Dragonspine. I haven't been to Dragonspine for years, bro. After a long, arduous climb to the top of the mountain, I finally put myself on the board with three entire points. Still, things weren't looking good for me and I decided to start on the flower farming. At this point, I was still grappling the UI, and while we get to see the full descriptions, it doesn't appear on the screen for the viewers. For flower farming, we're supposed to grab a region-exclusive flower from each region. With only two minutes to do this, I have no idea why I started this challenge, but, well, I grabbed a dandelion flower, which is a regional flower from Mondstadt. And I realized there's no way I can finish this one in time, so off to farming 10 slime concentrates. 10 slime concentrates? Hey, they forgot that I already needed to do this to farm my characters. <laughs> oh, thanks for reminding me about that one. Dude, every single- like, I had to get it on Lehigh and Gaming needed it. Like, all my slime was gone. 10. Okay. Killing a couple slimes yielded zero slime concentrates, but fortunately, my brain finally finished warming up when I realized, wait, slime concentrates are craftable, and that is certainly not against the rules. With another three points in the bag and a much slimier bag, I was starting to catch up. And here we go, speed run a domain. If there's one thing that money can't buy, well, it's certainly not IQ points, but it is killing things three seconds faster in a domain. Totally worth the thousands of dollars I've spent on Genshin Impact. I don't even know if I did this within 30 seconds. <laughs> It'll pop up a timer 
It says how long it took. Yeah, there we go. That should be... Wow, 21 seconds, yeah. Then, catching a frog appeared and it's worth an entire five points. After doing so many damage showcases over the years, I am an expert frog catcher. You need these critters to then barbarically brew into a potion to increase your damage, and got the easiest five points one could ask for. Well, a bunch of stuff started to happen and we all became fixated on our own goals. I gotta take off this Refinement 5 Thundering Pulse to do less than 100 damage. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> oh, wait, it has to be 100 damage. Or Not less. Over, right? Yeah, or less. Or less. Oh, how do I take my points away from Oh, that? oh I got, I got. 50. There's an undo button. Oh, yeah, let me undo that. Then. 16 damage. Let's go. All right. My Amber did 50 with her normal attack. Oh, dang, that's way better than mine. The camera, man. Camera's amazing. You know, I took it out, took some pictures of grass. It was incredible. Just a preview touch crap. 23. <laughs> I went underwater to murder our friendly underwater sea critters, and Anthony decided he wanted to be struck by lightning. Oh my god, I see lightning. Strike me down. And Doro had an Omega Brain moment by remembering that Yoomiya has homing rockets to shoot down flying pigeons out of midair. I got 10 berries. Please. Get him, get him. I got him. Oh, 20 seconds left. Yes. Let's go. And I gotta collect some materials. Foul. Okay, I got 10 out of these. Come on, Lightning, where you at? I think I got it, I got it, okay, nice. It's like auto aim. No! Meanwhile, Jello and I decided to ice bridge across Cider Lake. Yep, for some reason, we decided to do the thing that would require the least amount of brain power, but would take the longest for a guaranteed result. How long did it take? Well... Cross. Jeez. All right, which one? Ice bridge. There we go. Yeah, but if you dash and fall off the ice bridge, oh, man, that that's, would suck to that, that's not worth it, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, plenty of other more sensible challenges had appeared in that time. Well, at least it's another four guaranteed points in the pocket. All this, frankly, was child's play compared to the tumultuous trials that lay ahead. Like, show off your favorite character by taking an in-game picture, and I guess my favorite character now is Furina. And rest above the clouds. I'm unfortunately a bit traumatized by this one. I went up here, and unfortunately that didn't count. About 10 seconds after it expired, it became obvious to me that given the description was to sit at the place above the clouds in Li Yue, it was the cloud retainer's abode, where you can actually sit. My brain seriously malfunctioned here, because I'm pretty sure I could have also sat at the previous place I was at, and that was the easiest four points that I left behind. And this is where the difficult riddles began. Lumberjack's Folly. Find the immovable axe buried in the stump in the North Guaili Plains. I was almost stumped <laughs> after bouncing around the plains, and then... Immovable axe? Oh, oh, I found it. I found it. Holy cow. It appeared. Wow, boy, did I get lucky here. After stumping around for some stumps, I found this axe which was stumped in the stump for another massive five points in the bag. Then the flower challenge also reappeared. It looks like my earlier dandelion farming actually helped me a bit here. This let me actually finish my wonderful collection of flowers. At this point, the challenges were running dry, with only a couple of riddles left, where I really miss Paimon yapping in my ear explaining everything and telling me exactly where to go. But Antony pulled one final big brain moment and figured out the race to the answer riddle, which was voiceless it cries, wingless flutters, toothless bites, mouthless mutters, X1000. Yes! Well, I still, oh, I it? literally what? cannot have enough points to win this, but. Seriously, where's Paimon when you need her? Well, Antony didn't need her because it was the Thousand Winds Temple. We got to give it up for Anthony for that one. So what ended up being the final score? Doro came in fourth with 25 points. Anthony was in third with 41 points. And second place was... 
Jello Impact with 43 points, and thanks to a certain hopping frog and an axe and a stump, yours truly finished with 45 points. This competition was down to the wire and was a blast to participate in. I felt like Regigigas with a very slow start, but speeding up once I got into the groove. And now I will appreciate every stump and axe that I come across in Genshin Impact. Be sure to check out Doro, Antony, and Jello Impact, as they are all awesome dudes and I had a blast participating with them in this creator vs creator clash. Don't forget to tune in on April 21st at 12pm pacific time for the finals. And huge thanks to the Samsung Galaxy for sponsoring today's video. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.